So now let's implement the logic for this route on our client side, on our React JS side, right? So we should be able to see the post created by user whom I have followed, right? Okay. So maybe in here in this screens we will create one more component. Let's give it a name of S U B S S U B S C R I B E D subscribed user posts dot js. Okay. Now this will be almost similar. This component will be almost similar to home screen. Only this part will change, right? I am guessing so. I'll control A, control C, and I will put everything in here as well, right? Okay. So it will have all all the things which our home screen has. I can minimize this function, right? Because it's it's too much of the line of code, right? We are it's too much of the code, and it it has lot of functional right in our home. Okay. So we have minimized all the function. Instead, I want to now make a request to let me go to uh, the uh, routes, and I will be making this time request to this, right? Okay, and control V. Okay. So I think this should this is this this should be the logic, and this should work, right? This should work. Yeah, it should definitely work because rest everything is we want all these features as well. Like we should be able to still like the post, unlike the post, make a comment, delete a post, and yeah, everything will be remain same. Now we will be, I can save this and I will be creating inside this nav. Or first of all, let's go to app dot js, right? And in here we will be making one more route and let's give it a name of. Uh, F O my my F O W L F O W L O follower F O W L O follower post my followers post okay yeah and I can first I need to import the component S U B S C R I B E D subscribed user posts from dot slash components screens we have subscribed subscribes user post or we can write subscribed s u s c r i b e d or you can put whatever name you want right okay and here we can put that like so and we need to add this navigation in in navigation link right we we should be able to change the path right and if the path is this then we will show this component so we need to add that in our navigation right where is our navigation uh yeah this one nav bar right and we can add in this right this will be a protected route right if user is logged in then only user will be able to access so i can duplicate this i'll shift down key and in here i can pass the copy this path control c and i can pass it in here control v and maybe i can change this title this text to my f o w l o uh, f o w l o following my following posts yeah this this should be the name right we should write following because we should be able to see the user whom i am following right yeah so instead of follower you can write following yeah f following yeah this will be a more better name okay i'll replace this here as well my following post okay you can put whatever name you want right you can put more better name than this right okay or maybe you can shuffle the logic you can uh you can show the these these posts in this home screen and maybe you can rename this to explore explore screen right in this explore screen user will be able to see all the posts available in the database right you can shuffle the logic as well but i will keep things simple okay i don't want to waste time in that right because yeah let's save this and that's pretty much it yeah that's pretty much it okay so now we will log in right so i have opened up this component right i have this react js extension installed and i have opened this component now now is this time if i click on this context dot provider and if i see the state 
now state is null right as of now this state is null so i will log in right with the ramesh email of ramesh ramesh at the rate r a m e s s ramesh ramesh at the rate r a m e s s ramesh dot com and password will be one two three four login and let's wait for a few seconds and depending on the network this may take a little bit time so i think my network is little bit slow yeah sign in success and now you can see in this our state in our state has updated now in our state we have this followers and following now why we have this followers and following because in our previous video we wrote the logic for that right in our previous video let me go to this user uh, uh, this user and here you can see not in this user in this auth here you can see if the user is getting signed in or logged in then we are also sending the followers and following thing right so we, we wrote this in our previous uh, video right okay so now in this home screen we have two post one is the post of mukesh and one is the post of ramesh right now if i go to my following post in this i should be only able to see the mukesh post right not the ramesh post because i follow mukesh right so this was a quite simple logic right it, it was a quite simple logic and everything should work is still i will be able to make comments right nice still i will be able to make comments right and everything should work as it was working earlier right here you can see nice has been added right so yeah everything is still working fine and i think we are in the end of this course right so we have added a lot of functionalities right my following post i should be able to see in this profile post of this ramesh right yeah and i think we are done with this we are done with this project right in this home screen i should be able to see the all the posts available in the database right okay everything is work, working now in here we can add a little padding to this because as of now we this heading has don't have doesn't have enough padding and you know when i'm hovering overing this hovering overing this unlike i should change this to a kind of a pointer icon I, I should change the cursor to pointer right okay so first of all let's add a little padding so i'll inspect this and in this h5 i can add a little padding let's say padding of 20 pixel maybe not 20 pixel is too much maybe 3 pixel let me see not 3 more than that yeah maybe yeah 6 pixel right 6 pixel so let's do that so uh, where is the heading so we have that heading in our subscribed post as well um, yeah this one yeah so I can add a little style to this yeah and padding of 5 pixel I can copy this control C control S and I can go to home now in home i can add this in home as well right so we have a lot of code in here i can in home i can also add this okay let's save this and we should have now a little padding yeah it has little padding now so now let's change this as well right when i hover over on this so first of all uh, i will see in this material icon right okay so i can copy this Control c and i will go to app.css and in here i can paste this i need to put a dot in here and if user will hover over this h o hover then i will change the cursor to pointer yeah pointer right let's see if this works Okay, and when I'm hovering over in this, as you can see, cursor has changed to pointer. If I hover over the delete icon, now I can see this delete icon only to the post whom who created by me, right? Only the post created by me. Okay, so yeah, it is better, right? If I can, I can unlike this post, and it still everything should work as it was working earlier, right? Zero likes. Okay, so it has all the features, right? Okay, beautiful. Now the only thing left is we will be making this. Uh, uh, dynamic right so this, as of now this image is a static image right so while signing up we will allow users to upload their profile and then we will be adding let's say a added profile i added profile picture button in here maybe right yeah 
so this will be our next target and the last target okay so i'll see you guys in the next video